cost estimation applications. It's done by me, Amar Wakaraj, I'm a media scientist and computer scientist. In my project, I'll talk about media pipe, the use cases, the challenges, the process, the results, and I'll demonstrate the cost estimation prediction. And then I'll talk about conclusions and further steps. Media pipe use place pause. It's a lightweight convolutional neural network architecture for human pause estimation that is designed for real-time inference on computer or mobile devices. The pause estimation used in activity recognition and motion capture and augmented reality, training robots, motion tracking for consoles. And as we see in this beautiful picture, it's used for sign, for sign language. Human pause estimation is a challenging task as the body appearance changed dynamically due to diverse forms of clothes, arbitrary occlusion, occlusions due to the viewing angle and background context. Therefore, it's challenging for image processing models to identify the fine grain joints coordinates. It's especially difficult to track small and barely visible joints. Pose estimation applies pose and orientation to predict and track the location of a person or object. Accordingly, pose estimation allows programs to estimate spatial positions, poses of a body in an image or a video. Pose estimation operates by finding key points of a person or object. Taking a person, for example, the key points would be joints like elbow, knees, wrist, and extra. There are also uh, there are two types of pose estimation, multi-pose and single pose. Single pose estimation is used to estimate the poses of a single object in a given scene, while the multi-pose estimation is used when detecting poses of multiple objects. As a result, the place pose landmark model predicts the location of 33 pose landmarks of any object. As we see in this picture, it, it puts like number on each joint. Okay, let's demonstrate the pose estimation application, which is I uh, used two of them. Uh, my first one is exercise repetitions counter. After predicting the positions of joints, the model will count the exercise repetitions and use text to speech to tell me how many times, uh, how many repetition I accomplished. Okay, I'm using my uh, my monster model. As you see, this number is the angle of my arm. Such a hard exercise. Six repetitions. It's amazing, right? My second application is a motion prediction. The data set is collected using the webcam to capture real-time motions is my motion. And then I train several models such as logistic regression, bridge classifier, random forest, and gradient boost, boosting classifier. And I observed good accuracy scores from all of them. It's so almost like three of them gave me 100 accuracy and the gradient boosting classifier gave me 0 0.99. I deploy it through Flask application, but I couldn't share it because I'm using the webcam to share through Zoom. So I recorded a video. Let's watch it. I deploy the model through Flask application to predict my face motion and um, I used like three motions so it's predicting I'm sad. Yay, I did it! I deploy the model. As a conclusion, anyone can use this tool while working out and you can stop counting your reps because the app will do it for you. For a better study, I'll add more complex exercise like yoga poses, add additional features such as face similarity in order to identify the person, and for sure deploy the model for motion prediction hosted on AWS. This is the tools I use in my project. And here's my contact information. I would be happy to answer any question you want to ask. Thanks.